Today we're going to look at polynomial n behavior. And that's really just a way to say we're looking at what does the graph look like at each of its ends. And this will be a good skill to help us get a nice sketch of polynomial graphs in the future. So the first thing we want to do is identify the leading term and find two things. First, it's degree. So if it's an odd or even degree, and we're just looking at that exponent, that power of the leading term. And then second, we'll be looking at the sign of the leading coefficient. So is it positive or is it negative? Once you've identified these two things, you'll be able to make a decision on your end behavior. So here's a quick end behavior guide. There are four possibilities or four different combinations of these characteristics lining up. And this chart should help summarize it. So we'll first look if it has an odd degree and a positive leading coefficient. The ends look like these two arrows. Okay, here's what it looks like for a negative leading coefficient, but still an odd degree. So you can see it's just the sort of vertical reflection of that. Good thing to note, and we'll talk more about that in just a minute. If it's even for its degree and it has a positive leading coefficient, both ends or arrows for the graph will be pointing in the upward direction or the positive direction. And if it's even and negative, it will be both arrows or both ends pointing down. And notice again, that's just a vertical reflection of the behavior for an even degree with a positive leading coefficient graph. So a quick tip to help you remember this, because sometimes I think people struggle with this or get the different scenarios mixed up. You likely know the parent graphs for y equals x, the linear parent function, and y equals x squared, the quadratic parent function. And if you know those two, that will help you remember these four possibilities for end behavior of polynomials. So that's a quick tip and we'll dig into that a little bit here. So let's just sketch off to the side. We'll first look at our odd parent function, the most basic odd polynomial function, y equals x, that's our linear function. So think about y equals x, and we'll write it over here too. And if it's going to have a positive leading coefficient, so the most basic one, we know that that graph just looks like this. And notice how that matches the arrows here for the scenario where you have an odd degree, so that odd exponent or odd power, and you have a positive leading coefficient, the arrows mimic that parent graph y equals positive x. And then if you were to look at the negative scenario for n behavior, we can remember the graph of y equals negative x, and that's just the vertically flipped linear parent graph. So we know that graph looks like that. And notice how the arrows are up on the left and down on the right. If we have an odd degree and a negative leading coefficient. So if you know that basic linear function and it's negative, then you know these two cases. Similarly, if you think about your most basic even polynomial parent function, y equals x squared, you'll consider the positive and the negative case. Um, notice the degree here is two, that's the highest exponent. Okay, so if you have y equals positive x squared, we know that graph simply looks like this, just a quick sketch. And so notice positive leading coefficient, even degree, up on the left and up on the right. It behaves just like y equals x squared. Whereas if you're thinking about y equals negative x squared, we know it just vertically flips that graph upside down. So it's down on both sides, so down on the left down on the right. And that will hold true for any polynomial when you're looking at its end behavior if it has an even degree and a negative leading coefficient. Hopefully this helps you have a good foundation for determining polynomial end behavior. Like I said, this is a really essential skill for sketching graphs of polynomials. And be sure to check back. I'll post links to um, some examples where we can work and find the end behavior for specific graphs.